The aim of this experiment is to study the combination of rotational and translational motion in Maxwell's wheel. To understand the principle of conservation of energy and how it is distributed among the translational and rotational motion. In translational motion of an object, the entire object can be considered as a single point. All points of the object move in similar fashion and hence can be described by the same equation of motion. Rotational motion is slightly more complicated than translational motion. Rotating objects cannot be replaced by a single point as simply as it is done in translational motion. Different points in the object are moving with different speeds depending on their distance from the axis of rotation. Maxwell's wheel. It consists of a spindle that is hung using two strings. This helps to keep the Maxwell's wheel in a horizontal position. The strings are worn around the spindle until some height is achieved, after which the wheel is allowed to fall. As the wheel unwinds, the potential energy stored in it is converted into translational energy and rotational energy. We can write an equation for the various components of energy, where h is equal to maximum height, x equals to minimum height, m equals to mass of the wheel, i equals to moment of inertia, omega equals to angular speed, and v equals to linear speed. The angular speed of the object is related to its linear speed as v equals to r into omega. If the height, linear speed and angular speed are known at some point, then the moment of inertia can be calculated using the following equation, where k is a constant. Once i is calculated, the acceleration can be found with the help of this equation. Note: The translational acceleration of the wheel will always be less than the free fall acceleration due to gravity. Connect the key switch to port E of the counter. Connect the light barrier to port F. Select the mode TE to F. Move the wheel to the highest position and let it press the key switch. Sweet. Press start, release the wheel. After the wheel has passed the light barrier, the measurement is stopped. Connect the light barrier to port E of the counter. Select mode TE. Maximum height of the wheel. Move the wheel to its highest position and let it press the key switch. Press start, release the wheel. As the wheel passes the light barrier, the time delta t is measured. Note down the time delta t. Repeat the experiment for different heights. For the analysis, plot the graph t squared versus h. Now plot the graph v squared versus h. Once acceleration is determined using the slopes of the graphs, use this equation to find out the total energy of the wheel, the potential, the translational and rotational energies. Calculate the sum of all these energies and find the percentage components of each energy. Conclusion: The graphs of t squared versus h and v squared versus h are linear. This shows the Maxwell's wheel exhibits constant acceleration.